So this is the third video for roundabouts for learners and this time we're going to cover right turns. I'm going to get it on the way immediately and uh, just make one or two introductory comments before we come to the first roundabout. I, thought I, I perhaps could have mentioned earlier but they're worth mentioning. A lot of people do not know how to signal on roundabouts. Either they don't know or they don't care. And so you cannot rely on a roundabout on other people's signals. You have to be guided by their speed and position. What does their speed and position tell you? You can't rely on their signals. The only time perhaps you can is if they're on your right and they're signalling left and they're stationary. Then you've probably got time to go. But generally speaking, you have to decide what they're going to do by their speed and position. Now I've got a roundabout coming up where I propose to turn right. We're going to go over the MSM routine to begin with. I'm checking the rear and right mirrors here because I'm turning right. I'm keeping the central position here, right signal, 15 miles an hour, second gear, and aiming as for the straight on to keep the vehicle about a metre from the curb. I'll talk more about that later. But this time we leave the right signal on till the last exit before the one we want, then we change to a left signal. And then once we've got the car straight, check the mirror, change up. Now if you're going right at a roundabout on an ordinary single carriageway road, position your vehicle in the centre of your lane and point it towards the left of course, because you've got to go left in a sense to begin with. So I'm going to go rear and right mirrors, right signal, looking across to the right, so I've got one inbound, so taking first. So I pass the first exit, check the rear and near mirrors as I approach the second exit and signal to leave. Got vehicles approaching so I need to wait behind the bus. You will recall on the first video I said that you should normally approach at about 15, take second, and that really applies whether you're going left, straight or right on the majority of roundabouts, particularly these sort of urban or semi-urban quiet four exit roundabouts. So the rain's eased up a little bit for us now, which is good. So roundabout coming up, I'm proposing to go right, so I'll check my rear and right mirror, make the right signal, speed down to 15, taking second, and now I'm in the, I'm in the centre line but pointing across to the left as I approach. Vehicles on the right I have to wait for. So I'll put my handbrake on, setting the gas in the clutch while I'm waiting here. All clear now on my right. Passing the first exit as I approach the second rear and near mirrors, as I pass the second left signal to leave. There's no harm to have an extra glance in the rear and left mirrors again there just before coming off. Just do a couple more mentioning the mirror signal manoeuvre routine, then we'll talk a little bit more about speed and position. I have a roundabout, a little way ahead around the bend. I'm proposing to turn right, so it's rear and right mirror and a right signal. Lots of vehicles on the far side, keeping an eye on those as I approach. The van's coming down my way, so I've got time to go here. Passing the first one, leaving the right signal on. Leaving the right signal on as I come to the second, rear and near mirrors, and left signal to leave. And once we're off, we've got the wheel straight, we check the mirror, and accelerate and change up. 
we go right at the roundabout check in the rear mirror in the right mirror right signal lots of traffic on the far side so keeping that in mind someone was just stopped it all no one else on the right continuing second passing the first as I approach the second rear and near mirrors left signal to leave on a really big roundabout sometimes it's a good idea in fact it's always a good idea on a big one to check your rear and near mirrors again just before you make the last turn because the situation can change on a big roundabout more and more drivers now passing on the left even on roundabouts which is not a madness but we see it a great deal and one racing up behind me is turning off I'm happy to say so now I'm going to add a bit more detail about speed and position I'm going to go right at the roundabout checking my rear and right mirrors making the right signal and looking across the roundabout no problems on the far side at all to trouble me braking to 15 into second on the approach still no problems on the far side but I have button vehicles on my right Pointing the vehicle towards the left, right signal sometimes will go off, so that's gone back on. It is clear now on my right. Very important to keep the car a metre from the kerb, especially on these right turns, because the back wheels take the shortest route. If you get too close and uh, you get your front wheels too close, the back wheels are likely to go over the kerb. And generally speaking, I think it's fair to say if you go over the kerb on your test, you're going to fail. So it's very important, particularly on the right turns on roundabouts, to keep your front wheels a metre away from the kerb. Some roundabouts have a little wall on them, and if you get too close, of course, and your back wheel goes over, you could also scratch badly the side of your car. Got a youngster in a Fiat behind me, far too close. the roundabout and proposing to turn right so rear and right mirrors bearing in mind this woman's a bit of a nutter behind me so I'm going to slow a little bit earlier no problems on the far side braking to 15 taking second clutch up one approaching on the right so I'm going to need first here and another now there's a space so moving away keeping the front a meter away from the roundabout all the way through passing the first exit approaching the second rear and near mirrors passing the second left signal keeping the front of the car a metre from the left hand kerb coming off the roundabout straighten the wheel and mirror it might seem a lot perhaps to remember but uh, of course you're going to be doing this with an instructor and uh, hopefully these are just a few little helpful additions to what your instructor is going to teach you and right rear and right mirrors right signal bringing the speed well off because now I've got a learner in front of me and he may be a little bit hesitant. Now he's moving away quite nicely. Just watching the two on the roundabout on my right. Three, four. As I say, you can't, often cannot trust their signals. People do the craziest things. Passing the first, approaching the second rear and near mirror. Left signal to leave, keeping a metre from the kerb on the left. Once we've got the car around, mirror speed gear so yes as I say the, about the only time you can really rely on people signals is if they're on the road on your right stationary with a left signal on if you're stationary as well you're going to get away if you don't hesitate too much of course you've got time to get away before they do but if they're moving generally whatever their signals are you want to make sure you know what they're going to do before you pull onto the roundabout so we'll just do a couple more and hopefully that will give you all you need to know for regular roundabouts. Rear mirror, near mirror, right mirror sorry, right signal, bringing the speed off, down to 15, second gear, clutch up, looking to the right, no problems at all, aiming left of course, keeping the front end a metre away, passing the first, approaching the second rear and near mirror, Passing the second left signal, keeping away from the roundabout, keeping away from the left hand kerb, watching our friend in the middle, and round we go.
so there it is perhaps just to wrap up this one I'll do a left a straight and a right and hopefully I'll not get lost but I'll just try and put all three together now before we close straight at this one so I'm checking the mirror the rear mirror straight on looking across the roundabout aiming the car down the center of the lane to go around the roundabout no one following taking second looking to the right one inbound from the right so we want first and several more so this time I have to stop there's a space after the white one didn't have time to put my handbrake on keeping a meter away rear and near mirrors on the first exit left it left signal to come off keeping a meter from the curb Check the mirror, change up. Then take the next road on the right. so coming out with caution here another good rule always to use throughout your driving less space less speed wherever you are less space less speed whether that space is ahead behind right or left well, perhaps not so much behind but certainly in front right and left Just the last round of everything was a straight on. So the next one we're going to do is a left. First I have to turn right at the end of the road. So as I say, we're just putting it all together now. The last three sessions putting it all together and doing one of each. It's clear on my right. One approaching on the left. Next roundabout I'm turning left, so rear and near mirrors, left signal, looking across to the right, I'm in second, speed right, one, in, one incoming, now I have time to go. Following the silver car, signal's already on, I signalled on the approach to the roundabout. The roundabout approaching. Proposing to turn right at this one to so check in the rear and right mirror, bringing the speed to 15. Good time, good and early. Into second, clutch up. Traffic on the far side, not a problem at the moment. Clear on the right, no, we've got one coming in. So, first gear, now I can continue to move, keeping the front end away. I'm turning right, so my right signal's on. Rear and near, left signal to leave. Roundabout ahead, I'm going to go straight. So I'm checking the rear mirror. Looking across the roundabout, nothing over there. One just coming off. Looking to the right, down to 15, taking second. Keeping a metre away, passing the first, rear and near mirrors, left signal to exit. I'm going to take the next road on the right, rear and right mirrors, right signal. So there we have it, that's the third video on turning right, I hope those have been helpful as I say these videos are for learners, 
no substitute for going on the road of course with your instructor um, I guess the instruction you'll get will be pretty much the same as you've been given here but I hope this helps and I hope you'll come again thanks for watching